Where else can you walk into and see a 2017 Kia Hybrid sitting on the floor? Well, today we're doing, uh, basically it's a training that uh, we're doing for Kia. Uh, Kia hybrids, hybrid, plug-in hybrids, uh, the new technologies that goes with it. Uh, so all the things that the teachers should know for, for them to transfer to their students. So it's going to be beneficial for them to have some inputs from the dealership sites and what we're expecting at uh, different manufacturers from them. So And look at the technology that's coming because a lot of percentage of cars that are coming now are going to be either electric or 100% uh, electric, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or they're going to be 100% hydrogen. We're lucky enough to secure the services of uh, Yves Reset. And uh, well, Yves is a fantastic guy. He has lots of experience in hybrids and he trains for Kia, right? And you know what? We have fantastic relationships with our Kia dealers in the area. Right, so it was like it was almost like a no-brainer, right? Like, okay, so we got an excellent guy who could train in Kia, and we have Kia dealers who are more than willing to help us out. Maybe we'll do Kia training. So that's exactly how this came about. We have this car here. It's from Fisho Kia here in Chattagay, and the two other cars over there. That's from LaSalle Kia. You know, and to, to say we're fortunate or lucky to have partners like that, it, it'd be such an understatement. That the car over there. I don't know if you got a picture of it. The Kia Nero. The training center didn't even have one. Yeah, so they're that hard to get, right? And our dealer said, sure, you know, like, uh, we'll help you out. What do you need? So far, I think the course is going very well. Uh, the people that are putting it on seem very educated and knowledgeable. I think uh, the course is uh, very informative to us as teachers. Uh, it's something we can bring back, pass that knowledge on to the students. Of course, it helps a lot uh, since uh, we're getting information from uh, direct factories. And of course, we split this information to our students. I think it's important that the students have a good grasp on uh, future technology such as electronics. Uh, cars are going very much electric with uh, hybrids now. It's, uh, it's a part of what they're going to be doing immediately out of school. And uh, it seems more and more we're heading that direction. So the more education they can receive uh, on this, uh, the better off they'll be. It is a very good cycle of information uh, through the manufacturers to the schools and more accurate to uh, the students. Well, as I said, we're the CE, and part of our mandate as CE is increasing student success, but not only for our own students, but for students across the province. Now, hybrid training isn't part of the 5798 automobile program. And if, if you're driving around on the roads today, what do you see? You see hybrids, right? And there's a lot of them. And there's a really huge safety factor involved in working on, on them. We're not talking about 12 volts anymore, we're talking about hundreds of volts, up to 400 volts in some cases. So our students need to be prepared to deal with that when it rolls into their bays at the dealership once, or the independent garage once they leave the centers, right? So by having teachers trained across the province in these safety procedures and understanding how these things actually work, we can spread that through out the province, right, to all the students. And that's, that's our goal. Because we want our students to be industry ready.